What is up everybody? It's your girl Jay Nell here with my UFC 155 prediction video. Last one of the year. Let's get right into it. Okay, I am choosing Derek Brunson to beat Chris Lieben. I'm choosing Yushin Okami to beat Alan Belcher. Second time they'll be fighting. Next up, we have Tim Boytish versus Costa Filipao, and I'm sure I slotted both of those names. Uh, they're both strong men. It could stay standing. We could see these guys kind of bang it out a little bit. Boxing is Costa's strong point. It was a boxer first. Wrestling, however, is Tim's strong point, and I believe if he gets behind in stand-up game Tim will take it to the ground um, again both strong men with knockout power so it could go either way however I'm going to call it for Tim Boytish <laughs> next up co-main event we have Jim Miller versus Joe Lozon I like I like both of these fighters both of these fighters are smart fighters both tough both always growing um, the more I think about this the harder it actually is for me to call uh, again, because they're both so smart. I think we have the potential to see an exciting, active grappling match here. We don't get to see that that often. And I mean exciting, full of submission attempts and ground and pound and uh, position changes and stuff like that. Um, I don't know who's going to win this one. This one's very hard for me to choose. I, th I feel like the first person to make the biggest mistake is going to lose. Uh, honestly, both these guys are they are just, they think, smart fighters. Jim Miller's very tough. If you saw the fight against Melvin Gillard, he weathered a hell of a storm before he got that uh, submission victory. And um, it's because of that that I'm actually going to go ahead and call it for Jim Miller. But again, this one was very hard for me to call. Next up, main event. And I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, like I'm sure all of you have. Junior Dos Santos, heavyweight champion, versus Cain Velasquez, former heavyweight champion two. The only thing I can tell you is that this won't end in a minute like it did last time. I just don't think Kane will get caught by a hit and I definitely don't think that Junior Dos Santos will get caught by some kind of knockout in the first minute. However, it's not going to last five rounds. There's going to be a finish here, okay? These men are just too strong and they hit too hard for there not to be some kind of finish. Standing up, obviously I believe that Junior Dos Santos has the advantage. I just think that's his, it's his specialty. He'll tell you it's his specialty. He has great takedown defense. Now, on the ground, I want to go ahead and say that Cain Velasquez has the clear advantage. However, when's the last time you've seen uh, Junior Dos Santos on the ground? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> However, we do know that he has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And we also know that he trains with his idols, the Nogueira Brothers. So we can assume that his black belt is pretty darn good. And he's a very strong man. So will Cain Velasquez uh, be able to just ground and pound him out like he did Brock Lesnar when you have somebody who's going for submission attempts and... Um, active off of their back like a Noguera brother. You know what I mean? So, I'm still going to go ahead and give Kane the advantage on the ground. His wrestling is superb, but he's just so strong. That man is strong, but so is Junior. They're <laughs> strong men. I want this to go to the ground. I want to see what Junior got on the ground. We've never seen it. He's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Never seen it. I'm excited. I like both, the, both of these fighters as fighters and as men. It can go either way. However, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the champ. I'm going to call it for Junior Dos Santos, all right? Ladies, make your own money. Sign your own checks. Goodbye, everybody.